Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who doesn't walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the path of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in God's law. On his law he meditates day and night. He will be like a tree planted by the streams of water that produces its fruit in season. His leaf also does not wither. Whatever he does shall prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For God knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Psalm 2 why do the nations rage, and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth take a stand, and the rulers take counsel together against God and against his anointed, saying, Let's break their bonds apart and cast their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens will laugh, the Lord will have them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his anger and terrify them in his wrath. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will tell of the decree. God said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask of me and I will give the nations for your inheritance, the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, be wise, you kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve God with fear and rejoice with trembling. Give sincere homage to the Son, lest he be angry and you perish on the way. For his wrath will soon be kindled. Blessed are all those who take refuge in him. Psalm 3 God, how my adversaries have increased! Many are those who rise up against me. Many there are who say of my soul, There is no help for him in God. But you, God, are a shield around me. My glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry to God with my voice, and he answers me out of his holy hill. I laid myself down and slept. I awaken, for God sustains me. I will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who have set themselves against me on every side. Arise, God, save me, my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to Yahweh. May your blessing be on your people. Answer me when I call, God of my righteousness. Give me relief 
from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You sons of men, how long shall my glory be turned into dishonor? Will you love vanity and seek after falsehood? But know that God has set apart for himself him who is godly. God will hear when I call to him. Stand in awe and don't sin. Search your own heart on your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness. Put your trust in God. Many say, who will show us any good? God, let the light of your face shine on us. You have put gladness in my heart. More than when their grain and their new wine are increased. In peace, I will both lay myself down and sleep. For you, God alone, make me live in safety. Psalm 5 Give ear to my words, God. Consider my meditation. Listen to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For I pray to you. God, in the morning, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will lay my requests before you and will watch expectantly. For you are not a God who has pleasure in wickedness. Evil can't live with you. The arrogant will not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You will destroy those who speak lies. God abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, in the abundance of your loving kindness, I will come into your house. I will bow toward your holy temple in reverence of you. Lead me, God, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Hold them guilty, God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Thrust them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those who take refuge in you Rejoice. Let them always shout for joy, because you defend them. Let them also who love your name be joyful in you. For you will bless the righteous. God, you will surround him with favor as with a shield. Psalm 6 God, don't rebuke me in your anger, neither discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, God, for I am faint. God, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul is also in great anguish. But you, God, how long? Return, God. Deliver my soul and save me for your loving kindness sake. For in death there is no memory of you. In the grave who shall give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning. Every night 
I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my tears. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows old because of all my adversaries. Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for God has heard the voice of my weeping. God has heard my supplication. God accepts my prayer. May all my enemies be ashamed and dismayed. They shall turn back. They shall be disgraced suddenly. Psalm 7 Lord, my God, I take refuge in you. Save me from all those who pursue me and deliver me, lest they tear apart my soul like a lion, ripping it in pieces while there is no one to deliver. Lord, my God, if I have done this, if there is evil in my hands, if I have rewarded evil to him who was at peace with me, yes, I have delivered him who without cause was my adversary. Let the enemy pursue my soul and overtake it. Yes, let him tread my life down to the earth and lay my glory in the dust. Arise, Lord, in your anger. Lift up yourself against the rage of my adversaries. Awake for me. You have commanded judgment. Let the congregation of the peoples surround you, rule over them on high. The Lord administers judgment to the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and to my integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous their minds and hearts are searched by the righteous God. My shield is with God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge. Yes, a God who has indignation every day. If a man doesn't repent, he will sharpen his sword. He has bent and strung his bow. He has also prepared for himself the instruments of death. He makes ready his flaming arrows. Behold, he travails with evil. Yes, he has conceived mischief and brought out falsehood. He has dug a hole and has fallen into the pit which he made. The trouble he causes shall return to his own head. His violence shall come down on the crown of his own head. I will give thanks to the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord most high. Psalm 8 God, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. 
from the lips of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your adversaries that you might silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained, what is man that you think of him? What is the son of man that you care for him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You make him ruler over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. All sheep and cattle, yes, and the animals of the field, the birds of the sky, the fish of the sea, and whatever passes through the paths of the seas. God, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Psalm 9 I will give thanks to God with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish in your presence. For you have maintained my just cause. You sit on the throne judging righteously. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemy is overtaken by endless ruin. The very memory of the cities which you have overthrown has perished. But God reigns forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He will judge the world in righteousness. He will administer judgment to the peoples in uprightness. God will also be a high tower for the oppressed, a high tower in times of trouble. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, God, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to God who dwells in Zion and declare among the people what he has done. For he who avenges blood remembers them. He doesn't forget the cry of the afflicted. Have mercy on me, God. See my affliction by those who hate me and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may show all of your praise. I will rejoice in your salvation in the gates of the daughter of Zion. The nations have sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid, their own foot is taken. God has made himself known. He has executed judgment. The wicked is snared by the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned back to the pit. Even all the nations that forget God.
For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Arise, God. Don't let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, God. Let the nations know that they are only men. Psalm 10 Why do you stand far off, God? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance, the wicked hunt down the weak. They are caught in the schemes that they devise. For the wicked boasts of his heart's cravings. He blesses the greedy and condemns God. The wicked, in the pride of his face, has no room in his thoughts for God. His ways are prosperous at all times. He is arrogant, and your laws are far from his sight. As for all his adversaries, he sneers at them. He says in his heart, I shall not be shaken. For generations, I shall have no trouble. His mouth is full of cursing, deceit, and oppression. Under his tongue is mischief and evil. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambushes, he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly set against the helpless. He lurks in secret as a lion in his ambush. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless when he draws him in his net. The helpless are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face. He will never see it. Arise, God. Lord, lift up your hand. Don't forget the helpless. Why does the wicked person condemn God and say in his heart, God won't call me into account? But you do see trouble and grief consider it and take it into your hand. You help the victim and the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked. As for the evil man, seek out his wickedness until you find none. God is king forever and ever. The nations will perish out of his land. God, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed. That man who is of the earth may terrify no more. In God, I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows on the streams, that they may shoot in darkness at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? 
God is in his holy temple. God is on his throne in heaven. His eyes observe. His eyes examine the children of men. God examines the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and him who loves violence. On the wicked, he will rain blazing coals, fire, sulfur, and scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For God is righteous. He loves righteousness. The upright shall see his face. For the godly man ceases, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. Everyone lies to his neighbor. They speak with flattering lips and with a double heart. May God cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that boasts, who have said, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Because of the oppression of the weak and because of the groaning of the needy, I will now arise, says God. I will set him in safety from those who malign him. God's words are flawless words as silver refined in a clay furnace, purified seven times. You will keep them, God. You will preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when what is vile is exalted among the sons of men. Psalm 13 How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart every day? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Behold, and answer me, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him. Lest my adversaries rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your loving kindness. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has been good to me. Psalm 14 The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable deeds. There is no one who does good. The Lord looked down from heaven on the children of men to see if there were any who understood, who sought after God. They have all gone astray. They have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good. No, not one. Have all the workers of evil no knowledge? They eat up my people as they eat bread and don't call on the Lord. 
there they were in great fear. For God is in the generation of the righteous. You frustrate the plan of the poor because the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people. Then Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Lord, who shall dwell in your sanctuary? Who shall live on your holy hill? He who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart. He who doesn't slander with his tongue nor does any evil to his friend, nor casts slurs against his fellow man, in whose eyes a vile man is despised, but who honors those who fear God. He who keeps an oath, even when it hurts and doesn't change, he who doesn't lend out his money for usury, nor take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be shaken. Preserve me, God, for I take refuge in you. My soul, you have said to God, You are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the earth, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied who give gifts to another god. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take their names on my lips. The Lord assigned my portion and my cup. You made my lot secure. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. I will bless God, who has given me counsel. Yes, my heart instructs me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Because He is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my tongue rejoices, for my body shall also dwell in safety. For you will not leave my soul in the grave. Neither will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17 Hear God, my righteous plea. Give ear to my prayer that doesn't come out of deceitful lips. Let my sentence come out of your presence. Let your eyes look on equity. You have proved my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me and found nothing wrong. 
I have resolved that my mouth shall not disobey. As for the deeds of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I have called on you, for you will answer me, God. Turn your ear to me. Hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness. You who save those who take refuge by your right hand from their enemies. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who oppress me, my deadly enemies who surround me, they close up their callous hearts. With their mouth, they speak proudly. They have now surrounded us in our steps. They set their eyes to cast us down to the earth. He is like a lion that is greedy of its prey. As it were a young lion, lurking in secret places. Arise, God, confront him him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked by your sword, from men by your hand. God, from men of the world whose portion is in this life, you fill the belly of your cherished ones, your sons of plenty, and they store up wealth for their children. As for me, I shall see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with seeing your form. Psalm 18 I love you, Lord, my strength. God is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. I call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death surrounded me. The floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The cords of the grave were around me. The snares of death came on me. In my distress, I called on the Lord and cried to my God. He heard my voice out of his temple. My cry before him came into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also and the mountains quaked and were shaken. Because he was angry, smoke went out of his nostrils. Consuming fire came out of his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew. Yes, he soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, his pavilion around him darkness of waters, thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the sky. The Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered them routed them with great lightning bolts. Then the channels of water appeared. The foundations of the world were laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from on high. He took me. 
He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They came on me in the day of my calamity, but God was my support. He brought me out also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. God has rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his ordinances were before me. I didn't put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless with him. I kept myself from evil. Therefore, God has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful, Lord. With the perfect man, you will show yourself perfect. With the pure, you will show yourself pure. With the crooked, you will show yourself shrewd. For you will save the afflicted people, but the arrogant eyes you will bring down. For you will light up my lamp, Lord. My God will light up my darkness. For by you I advance through a troop. By my God I leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. God's word is tried. He is a shield to all those who take refuge in him. For who is God except the Lord? Who is a rock besides our God? The God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like deer's feet and sets me on high places. He teaches my hands to war so that my arms bend a bow of bronze. You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand sustains me. Your gentleness has made me great. For you have enlarged my steps under me. My feet have not slipped. I will pursue my enemies and overtake them. I won't turn away until they are consumed. I will strike them through so that they will not be able to rise. They shall fall under my feet. For you have armed me with strength to battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. You have also made my enemies turn their backs to me, that I might cut off those who hate me. They cried, but there was no one to say. Even to God, but he didn't answer them. Then I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I cast them out as the mire of the streets. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. You have made me the head of the nation, a people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The foreigners shall submit themselves to me. The unbelievers shall fade away and shall come trembling out of their strongholds. The Lord lives. Blessed be the rock. Exalted be the God of my salvation. Even the God who executes vengeance for me and subdues peoples under me. He rescues me from my enemies. 
Yes, you lift me up above those who rise up against me. You deliver me from the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks to you, God, among the nations, and will sing praises to your name. He gives great deliverance to his king and shows loving kindness to his anointed, to David, and to his offspring forevermore. Psalm 19 The heavens declare the glory of God. The expanse shows his handiwork. Day after day, they pour out speech, and night after night, they display knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their voice has gone out through all the earth, their words to the end of the world. In them, he has set a tent for the sun which is as a bridegroom coming out of his room, like a strong man rejoicing to run his course. His going out is from the end of the heavens, his circuit to its ends. There is nothing hidden from its heat. God's law is perfect, restoring the soul. God's covenant is sure, making wise the simple. God's precepts are right, rejoicing the heart. God's commandment is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of God is clean, enduring forever. God's ordinances are true and righteous altogether. They are more to be desired than gold, yes, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the extract of the honeycomb. Moreover, your servant is warned by them. In keeping them, there is great reward. Who can discern his error? Forgive me from hidden errors. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I will be upright. I will be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. God my rock, and my redeemer. Psalm 20 May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob set you up on high, send you help from the sanctuary, grant you support from Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burned sacrifice. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your counsel. We will triumph in your salvation. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May God grant all your requests. Now I know that God saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are bowed down and fallen but we rise up and stand upright. Save, O Lord, 
Let the King answer us when we call. Psalm 21. The King rejoices in your strength, God. How greatly he rejoices in your salvation. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of fine gold on his head. He asked life of you and you gave it to him. Even length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in your salvation. You lay honor and majesty on him, for you make him most blessed forever. You make him glad with joy in your presence. For the king trusts in God. Through the loving kindness of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find out all of your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them as a fiery furnace in the time of your anger. God will swallow them up in his wrath. The fire shall devour them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, their posterity from among the children of men. For they intended evil against you. They plotted evil against you, which cannot succeed. For you will make them turn their back when you aim drawn bows at their face. Be exalted, God, in your strength. So we will sing and praise your power. Psalm 22 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? My God, I cry in the daytime, but you don't answer. In the night season, I am not silent, but you are holy, you who inhabit the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not disappointed. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised by the people. All those who see me mock me. They insult me with their lips. They shake their heads saying, he trusts in God. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, since he delights in him. But you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust while at my mother's breasts. I was thrown on you from my mother's womb. You are my God, since my mother bore me. Don't be far from me, for my trouble is near. For there is no one to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They open their mouths wide against me. Lions tearing prey and roaring. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You have brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have surrounded me. A company of evildoers have enclosed me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all of my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Don't be far off, God. You are my help 
Hurry to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. Yes, you have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will declare your name to my brothers. Among the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard. My praise of you comes in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The humble shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord who seek after him. Let your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to God. All the relatives of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's. He is ruler over the nations. All the rich ones of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust shall bow before him. Even he who can't keep his soul alive, posterity shall serve him. Future generations shall be told about the Lord. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness to a people that shall be born, for he has done it. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, your goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in God's house forever. Psalm 24 the earth is the Lord's, with its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For the Lord has founded it on the seas and established it on the floods. Who may ascend to the Lord's hill? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul to falsehood and has not sworn deceitfully. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, even Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors and the King of Glory will come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Yes, lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the King of Glory will come in. Who is the King of Glory? 
The Lord of armies is the King of glory. Psalm 25 To you, Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I have trusted in you. Don't let me be shamed. Don't let my enemies triumph over me. Yes, no one who waits for you will be shamed. They will be shamed who deal treacherously without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. I wait for you all day long. Lord, remember your tender mercies and your loving kindness, for they are from old times. Don't remember the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. Remember me according to your loving kindness, for your goodness sake, Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he will instruct sinners in the way. He will guide the humble in justice. He will teach the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are loving kindness and truth to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he who fears the Lord? He shall instruct him in the way that he shall choose. His soul will dwell at ease. His offspring will inherit the land. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him. He will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my travail. Forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many. They hate me with cruel hatred. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be disappointed, for I take refuge in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. God, redeem Israel out of all his troubles. Judge me, God, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in God without wavering. Examine me, God, and prove me. Try my heart and my mind, for your loving kindness is before my eyes. I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with deceitful men. Neither will I go in with hypocrites. I hate the assembly of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence. So I will go about your altar, God, that I may make the voice of thanksgiving to be heard and tell of all your wondrous deeds. God, I love the habitation of your house, the place where your glory dwells. Don't gather my soul with the sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands is wickedness. Their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands in an even place. In the congregations, I will bless the Lord. Psalm 26 
7. God is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? God is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers come at me to eat up my flesh, even my adversaries and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I have asked of God, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in God's house all the days of my life, to see the Lord's beauty and to inquire in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me secretly in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. Now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tent. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to God. Hear, God, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy on me also, and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, I will seek your face, God. Don't hide your face from me. Don't put your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Don't abandon me. Neither forsake me, God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then God will take me up. Teach me your way, God. Lead me in a straight path because of my enemies. Don't deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen up against me, such as breathe out cruelty. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. to me, lest if you are silent to me, I would become like those who go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my petitions when I cry to you, when I lift up my hands toward your most holy place. Don't draw me away with the wicked, with the workers of evil who speak peace with their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their work and according to the wickedness of their doings. Give them according to the operation of their hands. Bring back on them what they deserve because they don't respect the works of God nor the operation of his hands. He will break them down and not build them up. Blessed be God, because he has heard the voice of my petitions. God is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. With my song, I will thank him. God is their strength. He is a stronghold of salvation to his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd also and bear them up forever.
Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you sons of the mighty. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in holy array. The Lord's voice is on the waters. The God of glory thunders, even the Lord on many waters. The Lord's voice is powerful. The Lord's voice is full of majesty. The Lord's voice breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice strikes with flashes of lightning. The Lord's voice shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice makes the deer calves and strips the forests bare. In his temple, everything says, Glory! The Lord sat enthroned at the flood. Yes, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 30 I will extol you, O Lord, for you have raised me up and have not made my foes to rejoice over me. Lord my God, I cried to you, and you healed me. Lord, you have brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his. Give thanks to his holy name, for his anger is but for a moment. His favor lasts for a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but joy comes in the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. You, O oh Lord, when you favored me, made my mountain stand strong. But when you hid your face, I was troubled. I cried to you, Lord. I made supplication to the Lord. What profit is there in my destruction if I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise you? Shall it declare your truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. O God, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing for me. You have removed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. To the end that my heart may sing praise to you and not be silent. Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Psalm 31 In you, Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be disappointed. Deliver me into your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be to me a strong rock, a house of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pluck me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my stronghold. Into your hand I commend my spirit. 
You redeem me, Lord, God of truth. I hate those who look at lying idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your loving kindness, for you have seen my affliction. You have known my soul in adversities. You have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eye, my soul, and my body waste away with grief. For my life is spent with sorrow. My years with sighing. My strength fails because of my guilt. My bones are wasted away. Because of all my adversaries, I have become utterly contemptible to my neighbors, a horror to my acquaintances. Those who saw me on the street fled from me. I am forgotten from their hearts like a dead man. I am like broken pottery. For I have heard the slander of many, terror on every side. While they conspire together against me, they plot to take away my life. But I trust in you, Lord. I said, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine on your servant. Save me in your loving kindness. Let me not be disappointed, Lord, for I have called on you. Let the wicked be disappointed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be mute, which speak against the righteous, arrogantly, with pride and contempt. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have worked for those who take refuge in you before the sons of men. In the shelter of your presence, you will hide them from the plotting of man. You will keep them secretly in a dwelling away from the strife of tongues. Praise be to the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous loving kindness in a strong city. As for me, I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my petitions when I cried to you. Oh, love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful and fully recompenses him who behaves arrogantly. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalm 32 Blessed is he whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord doesn't impute iniquity, in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silence, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped in the heat of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you and didn't hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this, let everyone who is godly pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely, when the great waters overflow, they shall not reach him. You are my hiding place. You will preserve me from trouble. 
You will surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. I will counsel you with my eye on you. Don't be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, who are controlled by bit and bridle, or else they will not come near you. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but loving kindness shall surround him who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous. Shout for joy, all you who are upright in heart. Psalm 33 Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. Praise is fitting for the upright. Give thanks to the Lord with a flute. Sing praises to Him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the Lord's word is right. All his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. By the Lord's word, the heavens were made. All their army by the breath of his mouth he gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood firm. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the thoughts of the peoples to be of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands fast forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions all of their hearts, and he considers all of their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither does he deliver any by his great power. Behold, the Lord's eye is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his loving kindness to deliver their soul from death to keep them alive in famine our soul has waited for the lord he is our help and our shield for our heart rejoices in him because we have trusted in his holy name let your loving kindness be on us, O Lord, since we have hoped in you. Psalm 34 I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be in my mouth. My soul shall boast in the Lord. 
The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let's exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant. Their faces shall never be covered with shame. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The Lord's angel encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no lack with those who fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is someone who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The Lord's eyes are toward the righteous. His ears listen to their cry. The Lord's face is against those who do evil to cut off their memory from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves those who have a crushed spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He protects all of his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil shall kill the wicked. Those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him shall be condemned. Psalm 35 Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Brandish the spear and block those who pursue me. Tell my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my soul be disappointed and brought to dishonor. Let those who plot my ruin be turned back and confounded. Let them be as chaff before the wind, the Lord's angel driving them on. Let their way be dark and slippery, the Lord's angel pursuing them. For without cause, they have hidden their net in a pit for me. Without cause, they have dug a pit for my soul. Let destruction come on him unawares. Let his net that he has hidden catch himself. 
let him fall into that destruction. My soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you? Who delivers the poor from him who is too strong for him? Yes, the poor and needy from him who robs him. Unrighteous witnesses rise up. They ask me about things that I don't know about. They reward me evil for good to the bereaving of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I afflicted my soul with fasting. My prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though it had been my friend or my brother. I bowed down mourning as one who mourns his mother. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. The attackers gathered themselves together against me, and I didn't know it. They tore at me and didn't cease. Like the profane mockers in feasts, they gnashed their teeth at me. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their destruction, my precious life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among many people. Don't let those who are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let those who hate me without a cause wink their eyes. For they don't speak peace, but they devise deceitful words against those who are quiet in the land. Yes, they open their mouth wide against me. They said, aha, aha, our eye has seen it. You have seen it, O Lord. Don't keep silent. Lord, don't be far from me. Wake up, rise up to defend me, my God. My Lord, contend for me. Vindicate me, Lord, my God, according to to your righteousness. Don't let them gloat over me. Don't let them say in their heart, aha, that's the way we want it. Don't let them say, we have swallowed him up. Let them be disappointed and confounded together who rejoice at my calamity. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who magnify themselves against me. Let those who favor my righteous cause shout for joy and be glad. Yes, let them say continually, may the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. My tongue shall talk about your righteousness and about your praise all day long. Psalm 36 A revelation is within my heart about the disobedience of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes. Too much to 
detect and hate his sin. The words of his mouth are evil and deceit. He has ceased to be wise and to do good. He plots evil on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He doesn't abhor evil. Your loving kindness, Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like a great deep. Lord, you preserve man and animal. How precious is your loving kindness, God. The children of men take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the abundance of your house. You will make them drink of the river of your pleasures. For with you is the spring of life. In your light, we will see light. Oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. Don't let the foot of pride come against me. Don't let the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the workers of evil are fallen. They are thrust down and shall not be able to rise. Psalm 37 Don't fret because of evildoers. Neither be envious against those who work unrighteousness. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Also, delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He will do this. He will make your righteousness shine out like light, and your justice as the noonday sun. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Don't fret because of Him who prospers in His way, because of the man who makes wicked plots happen. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Don't fret, it leads only to evil doing. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. For yet a little while, and the wicked will be no more. Yes, though you look for his place, he isn't there. But the humble shall inherit the land and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plots against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth. The Lord will laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, to kill those who are upright on the path. Their sword shall enter into their own heart. Their bows shall be broken. 
better is a little that the righteous has than the abundance of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the perfect. Their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be disappointed in the time of evil. In the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish. The enemies of the Lord shall be like the beauty of the fields. They will vanish, vanish like smoke. The wicked borrow and don't pay back. But the righteous give generously. For such as are blessed by him shall inherit the land. Those who are cursed by him shall be cut off. A man's steps are established by the Lord. He delights in his way. Though he stumble, he shall not fall. For the Lord holds him up with his hand. I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. All day long he deals graciously and lends. His offspring is blessed. Depart from evil and do good. Live securely forever. For the Lord loves justice and doesn't forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and live in it forever. The mouth of the righteous talks of wisdom. His tongue speaks justice. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watch the righteous and seek to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait for the Lord and keep his way, and he will exalt you to inherit the land. The wicked are cut off. You shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power spreading himself like a green tree in its native soil. But he passed away, and behold, he was not. Yes, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and see the upright, for there is a future for the man of peace. As for transgressors, they shall be destroyed together. The future of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their stronghold in the time of trouble. The Lord helps them and rescues them. He rescues them from the wicked and saves them because they have taken refuge in him. Psalm 38 Lord, don't rebuke me in your wrath. Neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. 
for your arrows have pierced me. Your hand presses hard on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. Neither is there any health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. As a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds are loathsome and corrupt because of my foolishness. I am in pain and bowed down greatly. I go mourning all day long. For my waist is filled with burning. There is no soundness in my flesh. I am faint and severely bruised. I have groaned by reason of the anguish in my heart. Lord, all my desire is before you. My groaning is not hidden from you. My heart throbs. My strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has left me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my plague. My kinsmen stand far away. They also who seek after my life lay snares. Those who seek my hurt speak mischievous things and meditate deceits all day long. But I, as a deaf man, don't hear. I am as a mute man who doesn't open his mouth. Yes, I am as a man who doesn't hear and whose mouth are no reproofs. For I hope in you, Lord. You will answer, Lord my God. For I said, don't let them gloat over me or exalt themselves over me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall. My pain is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. But my enemies are vigorous and many. Those who hate me without reason are numerous. They who render evil for good are also adversaries to me because I follow what is good. Don't forsake me, Lord. My God, don't be far from me. Hurry to help me, Lord, my salvation. so that I don't sin with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. I was mute with silence. I held my peace, even from good. My sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me. While I meditated, the fire burned. I spoke with my tongue. Lord, show me my end. What is the measure of my days? Let me know how frail I am. Behold, you have made my days hand -wits. My lifetime is as nothing before you. Surely every man stands as a breath. Surely every man walks like a shadow. Surely they busy themselves in vain. He heaps up and doesn't know who shall gather. Now Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Don't make me the reproach of the foolish. I was mute. 
I didn't open my mouth because you did it. Remove your scourge away from me. I am overcome by the blow of your hand. When you rebuke and correct man for iniquity, you consume his wealth like a moth. Surely every man is but a breath. Hear my prayer, Lord, and give ear to my cry. Don't be silent at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a foreigner, as all my fathers were. Oh, spare me, that I may recover strength before I go away and exist no more. Psalm 40 I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He has put a new song in my mouth, even praise to our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust and doesn't respect the proud, nor such as turn away to lies. Many, Lord my God, are the wonderful works which you have done and your thoughts which are toward us. They can't be declared back to you. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be counted. Sacrifice and offering you didn't desire. You have opened my ears. You have not required burnt offering and sin offering. Then I said, Behold, I have come. It is written about me in the book in the scroll. I delight to do your will, my God. Yes, your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed glad news of righteousness in the great assembly. Behold, I will not seal my lips. Lord, you know. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly. Don't withhold your tender mercies from me, Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head. My heart has failed me. Be pleased, Lord, to deliver me. Hurry to help me, Lord. Let them be disappointed and confounded together who seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be turned backward and brought to dishonor who delight in my hurt. Let them be desolate by reason of their shame that tell me, aha, aha. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, let the Lord be exalted, but I am poor and needy. May the Lord think about me. You are my help and my deliverer. Don't delay, my God. Psalm 41 Bless is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in the day of evil. The Lord will preserve him 
and keep him alive. He shall be blessed on the earth, and he will not surrender him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will sustain him on his sickbed and restore him from his bed of illness. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil against me. When will he die and his name perish? If he comes to see me, he speaks falsehood. His heart gathers iniquity to itself. When he goes abroad, he tells it. All who hate me whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me. An evil disease, they say, has afflicted him. Now that he lies, he shall rise up no more. Yes, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, who ate bread with me, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, Lord, have mercy on me and raise me up that I may repay them. By this I know that you delight in me, because my enemy doesn't triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. Psalm 42 As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants after you, God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night while they continually ask me, where is your God? These things I remember and pour out my soul within me. How I used to go with a crowd and led them to God's house with the voice of joy and praise, a multitude keeping a holy day. Why are you in despair, my soul? Why are you disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall still praise him for the saving help of his presence. My God, my soul is in despair within me. Therefore, I remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from the hill Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and your billows have swept over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime. In the night, his song shall be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will ask God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones, my adversaries reproach me while they continually ask me, Where is your God? Why are you in despair, my soul? Why are you disturbed within me, hoping God? For I shall still Praise him, the saving help of my countenance and my God. Psalm 43 Vindicate me, God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Oh, deliver me from deceitful 
and wicked men. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill, to your tents. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my exceeding joy. I will praise you on the harp, God, my God. Why are you in despair, my soul? Why are you disturbed within me? Hoping God, for I shall still praise him, my Savior, my Helper, and my God. Psalm 44 We have heard with our ears, God. Our fathers have told us what work you did in their days, in the days of old. You drove out the nations with your hand, but you planted them. You afflicted the peoples, but you spread them abroad. For they didn't get the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, because you were favorable to them. God, you are my king. Command victories for Jacob. Through you, we will push down our adversaries. Through your name, we will tread down those who rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither will my sword save me. But you have saved us from our adversaries and have shamed those who hate us. In God, we have made our boast all day long. We will give thanks to your name forever. But now you rejected us and brought us to dishonor. And don't go out with our armies. You make us turn back from the adversary. Those who hate us take plunder for themselves. You have made us like sheep for food and have scattered us among the nations. You sell your people for nothing and have gained nothing from their sale. You make us a reproach to our neighbors, a scoffing and a derision to those who are around us. You make us a byword among the nations, a shaking of the head among the peoples. All day long, my dishonor is before me, and shame covers my face at the taunt of one who reproaches and verbally abuses because of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come on us, yet we haven't forgotten you. We haven't been false to your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, neither have our steps strayed from your path. Though you have crushed us in the haunt of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death, if we have forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a strange God, won't God search this out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Yes, for your sake, we are killed all day long. We are regarded as sheep for the slaughter. Wake up, why do you sleep, Lord? Arise, 
Don't reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our affliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust. Our body clings to the earth. Rise up to help us. Redeem us for your loving kindness. Psalm 45 My heart overflows with a noble theme. I recite my verses for the king. My tongue is like the pen of a skillful writer. You are the most excellent of the sons of men. Grace has anointed your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword on your thigh, mighty one, your splendor and your majesty. In your majesty, ride on victoriously on behalf of truth, humility, and righteousness. Let your right hand display awesome deeds. Your arrows are sharp. The nations fall under you with arrows in the heart of the king's enemies. Your throne, God, is forever and ever. A scepter of equity is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments smell like myrrh, aloes, and cassia. Out of ivory palaces, stringed instruments have made you glad. King's daughters are among your honorable women. At your right hand, the queen stands in gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, consider and turn your ear. Forget your own people and also your father's house. So the king will desire your beauty. Honor him, for he is your Lord. The daughter of Tyre comes with a gift. The rich among the people entreat your favor. The princess inside is all glorious. Her clothing is interwoven with gold. She shall be led to the king in embroidered work. The virgins, her companions who follow her, shall be brought to you. With gladness and rejoicing, they shall be led. They shall enter into the king's palace. Your sons will take the place of your fathers. You shall make them princes in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, the peoples shall give thanks to you forever and ever. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we won't be afraid, though the earth changes, though the mountains are shaken into the heart of the seas, though its waters roar and are troubled, though the mountains tremble with their swelling. There is a river the streams of which make the city of God glad, the holy place of the tents of the Most High. God is within her. She shall not be moved. God will help her at dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. 
He lifted his voice, and the earth melted. The Lord of armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, see the Lord's works, what desolations he has made on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 47 Oh, clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He subdues nations under us and peoples under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob, whom he loved. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples are gathered together, the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 48 Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in His holy mountain. Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. On the north sides, the city of the great King. God has shown himself in her citadels as a refuge. For behold, the kings assembled themselves. They passed by together. They saw it, then they were amazed. They were dismayed. They hurried away. Trembling took hold of them there. Pain as of a woman in travail. With the east wind, you break the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of Yahweh of armies, the city of our God, God will establish it forever. We have thought about your loving kindness, God, in the middle of your temple. As your name, God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion be glad. Let the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Number its towers. Notice her bulwarks. 
consider her palaces, that you may tell it to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to death. Psalm 49 Hear this, all you peoples. Listen, all you inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth will speak words of wisdom. My heart will utter understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb. I will solve my riddle on the harp. Why should I fear in the days of evil when iniquity at my heels surrounds me? Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their life is costly. No payment is ever enough that he should live on forever, that he should not see corruption. For he sees that wise men die. Likewise, the fool and the senseless perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses will endure forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They name their lands after themselves. But man, despite his riches, doesn't endure. He is like the animals that perish. This is the destiny of those who are foolish and of those who approve of their sayings. They are appointed as a flock for the grave. Death shall be their shepherd. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. Their beauty shall decay in the grave, far from their mansion. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he will receive me. Don't be afraid when a man is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dies, he will carry nothing away. His glory won't descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men praise you when you do well for yourself, he shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see the light. A man who has riches without understanding is like the animal that perish. Psalm 50 The Mighty One, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth. From the rising of the sun to where it sets from Zion, perfect in beauty. God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him. Around him, a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above. In the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather to me 
this consecrated people who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for he is a God of justice. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am your God, your God. I am God, your God. I bring no charges against you concerning your sacrifices or concerning your burnt offerings, which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your stall or of goats from your pens. For every animal of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains, and the insects in the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice thanks offerings. Sacrifice thank offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High and call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. But to the wicked person, God says, What right have you to recite my laws or to take my covenant on your lips? You hate my instruction and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you join with him. You throw in your lot with adulterers. You use your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. You sit and testify against your brother and slander your own mother's son. When you did these things and I kept silent, you thought I was exactly like you. But now I arraign you and set my accusations before you. Consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you to pieces with no one to rescue you. Those who sacrifice thank offerings honor me, and to the blameless I will show my salvation. Psalm 51 Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely, I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all 
my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God, my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Psalm 52 Why do you boast of mischief, mighty man? God's loving kindness endures continually. Your tongue Plots destruction, like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love evil more than good, lying rather than speaking the truth. You love all devouring words, you deceitful tongue. God will likewise destroy you forever. He will take you up and pluck you out of your tent and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous also will see it and fear and laugh at him saying, Behold, this is the man who didn't make God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But as for me, I am like a green olive tree in God's house. I trust in God's loving kindness forever and ever. I will give you thanks forever because you have done it. I will hope in your name, for it is good in the presence of your saints. Psalm 53 The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt and have done abominable iniquity. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on the children of men to see if there are any who understood, who seek after God. Every one of them has gone back. They have become filthy together. There is no one who does good. No, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread and don't call on God? There they were in great fear 
where no fear was. For God has scattered the bones of him who encamps against you. You have put them to shame because God has rejected them. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion when God brings back his people from captivity. Then Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Psalm 54 Save me, God, by your name. Vindicate me in your might. Hear my prayer, God. Listen to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me. Violent men have sought after my soul. They haven't set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the one who sustains my soul. He will repay the evil to my enemies. Destroy them in your truth. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all trouble. My eye has seen triumph over my enemies. Psalm 55 Listen to my prayer, God. Don't hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am restless in my complaint and moan because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they bring suffering on me. In anger, they hold a grudge against me. My heart is severely pained within me. The terrors of death have fallen on me. Fearfulness and trembling have come on me. Horror has overwhelmed me. I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove. Then I would fly away and be at rest. Behold, then I would wander far off. I would lodge in the wilderness. I would hurry to a shelter from the stormy wind and storm. Confuse them, Lord, and confound their language. For I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they prowl around on its walls. Malice and abuse are also within her. Destructive forces are within her. Threats and lies don't depart from her streets. For it was not an enemy who insulted me. Then I could have endured it. Neither was it he who hated me, who raised himself up against me. Then I would have hidden myself from him. But it was you, a man like me, my companion and my familiar friend, we took sweet fellowship together. We walked in God's house with company. Let death come suddenly on them. Let them go down alive into the grave. For wickedness is among them in their dwelling. As for me, I will call on God. The Lord will save me. Evening, morning, and at noon, I will cry out in distress. He will hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. Although there are many 
who oppose me? God, who is enthroned forever, will hear and answer them. They never change and don't fear God. He raises his hands against his friends. He has violated his covenant. His mouth was smooth as butter, but his heart was war. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be moved. But you, God, will bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days but I will trust in you. Psalm 56 Be merciful to me, God, for man wants to swallow me up. All day long, he attacks and oppresses me. My enemies want to swallow me up all day long, for they are many who fight proudly against me. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, I praise His word. In God, I put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? All day long, they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They conspire and lurk, watching my steps. They are eager to take my life. Shall they escape by iniquity? In anger, cast down the peoples, God. You count my wanderings. You put my tears into your container. Aren't they in your book? Then my enemies shall turn back in the day that I call. I know this, that God is for me. In God, I will praise His word. In the Lord, I will praise His word. I have put my trust in God. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Your vows are on me, God. I will give thank offerings to you. For you have delivered my soul from death and prevented my feet from falling that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalm 57 be merciful to me, God, be merciful to me, for my soul takes refuge in you. Yes, in the shadow of your wings, I will take refuge until disaster has passed. I cry out to God most high, to God who accomplishes my requests me. He will send from heaven and save me. He rebukes the one who is pursuing me. God will send out his loving kindness and his truth. My soul is among lions. I lie among those who are set on fire. Even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue 
a sharp sword. Be exalted, God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They dig a pit before me. They fall into the middle of it themselves. My heart is steadfast, God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises. Wake up, my glory. Wake up, lute and harp. I will wake up the dawn. I will give thanks to you, Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your great loving kindness reaches to the heavens and your truth to the sky. Be exalted, God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Psalm 58 Do you indeed speak righteousness, silent ones? Do you judge blamelessly, you sons of men? No. In your heart, you plot injustice. You measure out the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked go astray from the womb. They are wayward as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a snake, like a deaf cobra that stops its ear which doesn't listen to the voice of charmers, no matter how skillful the charmer may be. Break their teeth, God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, Lord. Let them vanish like water that flows away. When they draw the bow, let their arrows be made blunt. Let them be like a snail, which melts and passes away. Like a stillborn child who has not seen the sun. Before your pots can feel the heat of the thorns, he will sweep away the green and the burning alike. The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that men shall say, most certainly there is a reward for the righteous. Most certainly there is a God who judges the earth. Psalm 59. Deliver me from my enemies, my God. Set me on high from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. Save me from the bloodthirsty men. For behold, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty gather themselves together against me, not for my disobedience, nor for my sin, Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Rise up, behold, and help me. You, Lord, God of armies, the God of Israel, rouse yourself to punish the nations. Show no mercy to the wicked traitors. They return at evening, howling like dogs, and prowl around the city. 
Behold, they spew with their mouth. Swords are in their lips. For they say, who hears us? But you, Lord, laugh at them. You scoff at the nations. Oh, my strength, I watch for you. For God is my high tower. My God will go before me with his loving kindness. God will let me look at my enemies in triumph. Don't kill them, or my people may forget. Scatter them by your power and bring them down, Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them be caught in their pride for their curses and lies which they utter. Consume them in wrath. Consume them, and they will be no more. Let them know that God rules in Jacob to the ends of the earth. At evening, let them return. Let them howl like a dog and go around the city. They shall wander up and down for food and wait all night if they aren't satisfied. But I will sing of your strength. Yes, I will sing aloud of your loving kindness in the morning. For you have been my high tower, a refuge in the day of my distress. To you, my strength, I will sing praises for God is my high tower, the God of my mercy. Psalm 60 God, you have rejected us. You have broken us down. You have been angry. Restore us again. You have made the land tremble. You have torn it, mend its fractures, for it quakes. You have shown your people hard things. You have made us drink the wine that makes us stagger. You have given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth so that your beloved may be delivered save with your right hand and answer us god has spoken from his sanctuary i will triumph i will divide shechem and measure out the valley of sukkot gilead his mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the defense of my head. Judah is my scepter. Moab is my wash basin. I will throw my sandal on Edom. I will shout in triumph over Philistia. Who will bring me? into the strong city who has led me to Edom haven't you God rejected us you don't go out with our armies God give us help against the adversary for the help of man is vain through God we will do valiantly for it is he who will tread down our adversary.